Hey guys, how could a gamer here and welcome to another Dead by Daylight news feed. In this video, I'm going to be having a look at the cosmetics in the store on the PTB. I don't actually have access to the PTB, but I'm assuming as I don't actually own a computer at this moment in time. However, I've managed to collect a series of screenshots of majority of the cosmetics so I can show you guys uh, what they look like and get your opinions on them. Before I begin, there are two things I want to mention. Firstly, there are changes to the currency system, like how things will be bought and changes to the iridescent shards. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to go to the video where I talk more about that if you don't or not know about that and want to get updated on that. I'll leave that in the description below. Also, I'm going to separate this video into two sections, survivors and killers. Um, just for ease of practice really and I'm also going to link the timestamps for each individual survivor and killer in the description in case you guys are looking for a specific cosmetic for I don't know for like you want to see all the Claudette um, cosmetics you can just look at Claudette if that's what you wish or for the killers vice versa so anyway we'll get started the first cosmetic we have is for the Trapper, and this one is called Circus Strongman. Now this one is a very rare cosmetic that requires the purchase of Oryx cells to be bought. It's a very nice skin, it's a different take to the Trapper. Uh, as you can see his weapon it looks really cool, it's like some sort of axe blade, it looks amazing. However and all this is a very, very nice skin. The second skin for the Trapper is Blast Furnace Ironworks and this is a skin that kind of makes sense especially with the whole idea of how the Trapper looks naturally with all the hooks hanging out of him. It was only a matter of time before some sort of cosmetic was made to reflect working alongside metal. Well, this one is doubly cool with the fact that in the marketplace for the heads you also have an assortment of different helmets you can buy individually if you choose so. This outfit is available to be purchased through Oryx cells or Iridescent Shards. Moving on, we have the last of the cosmetics for the Trapper which are just reskins of his default outfit if that's what you want. Again, these are available with Oryx cells or iridescent shards. Going to the Wraith now and we have a cosmetic that is a very rare cosmetic uh, and it is called the Wax Warlock. This is available to be bought with Oryx cells or iridescent shards. It is absolutely gorgeous. A lot of people are comparing this cosmetic to a Dark Souls boss and I can see where they're coming from. It, it kind of really does look like a Dark Souls boss, which just doubles the awesomeness to me. It's so amazing. That's one I will definitely be getting for my Wraith. The second cosmetic for the Wraith is called Shadow Walker. This one is a little bit similar to his default skin with the exception being that it seems a little bit more detailed his mouth is covered up a little bit he's got a slightly longer cape for lack of better terminology uh, it's available to be bought with auric cells or iridescent shards and lastly I don't have screenshots for this but the default skins for the wraith can be customised and bought individually through the heads or the body and legs for the wraith there's apparently a very red variant of the wraith's clothes if that's something you're interested in moving on we have the only cosmetic really for the hillbilly that is an outfit and this one is frontier minor mountain savage this is kind of a different look for the hillbilly. I am not entirely keen on it. I prefer his default look, if I'm more honest. Uh, this one is available to buy with Oryx cells or iridescent shards. And 
His clothes are able to be customised and reskinned from his default through the sections of body and legs, if that's what you're after. And these will again be portable with Oryx cells and iridescent shards. Moving forward to one of the nicest groups of customization options I have ever seen ever. I am really tempted to be, try and become a nurse main. So starting with the nurse, we have the very rare skin of In Sickness, In Health, The Bride. This is an Oryx cell only purchase and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love this skin. This is going to be one I'm going to spend money on for sure. Next to that, there is a reskin variant of the bride one, which is called Until Death, part uh, parts the bride. This is again another one, but this one requires only Oryx cells or resistant shards, so either or. But this is another one I am very tempted to get as well. The next cosmetic for the nurse is hazardous materials this one is a oryx cell only purchasable item what's interesting about this one is she's completely wrapped up in hazardous materials like the skin name suggests but also there's a little hazmat symbol on the back which is really cool the next one is called body bag and it's in three skin of hazardous material it's obviously just her being wrapped up in Presumably a body bag, like the name kind of suggests. This one is available for purchase through Oryx cells or iridescent shards. And lastly, waste material, which is another reskin of body bag and hazardous materials. This one is again available to purchase with Oryx cells or iridescent shards. The nurse is, has some of the nicest of the customizations, which is a pain because I struggle to play with the nurse. Well, now is the time to learn, I suppose. And so we come to the hag. The first hag skin is called Sapling Siren Photosynthesis. And this is a diff really odd skin, if I'm all honest. I don't understand what this skin is about. She's turning into a plant, it would seem. This is a very rare skin for her. Again, this one is bought through Oryx cells only. It's a bit strange to me, and I would have thought that the lettuce-like head that she has would make her stand out more. But only time will tell if that is the case. Moving on. The next one is the Woodwitch Petrification. Now this one is a little red dress everyone was wanting to have for the hag. So this is what this is now. Um, it's a item being able to be bought with Oryx cells or iridescent shards. She's got a little dreadlock ponytail which is cool. I'm not entirely keen on this thing, this cosmetic, but it's okay. Uh, the next one is reskins of the Hag's default outfit. These will be, be able to be bought through Oryx cells or iridescent shards. Moving on, we have another really good re-changing re of the character. This is a Doctor. The first Doctor's very rare skin, Oryx only cell purchasable item is the Wild Asylum Mental Patient. This is like a whole new change from the de de default outfit of the Doctor and it looks amazing. He's got a whole new different head going on. It looks really, really cool. I'm really going to get this for my Doctor because it looks amazing. The next outfit is called Strictly Business Physical Therapist. This is an auric cell only uh, item. Uh, outfit and he looks really cool though if he was my therapist I'd be running a mile but nonetheless he's got his little suit on he's got a whole different look he looks really cool and then I'm gonna quickly show you through the two other 
variant of the physical therapist skin. These are available for purchase with or excels or iridescent shards and they're literally just recolours of that particular outfit. Moving on to the Huntress. Now the Huntress has some really nice things here. So starting off, we got her very rare Mother Bear Medvetita. I don't know how you pronounce this. I will literally probably have to Google answer how to spell this, but this is an Auric only purchasable. She's got a skull of a bear on her, her head, which looks absolutely incredible and menacing. It's so amazing. Her outfit is nice as well. And she's got a hell of an axe. That's so nice. The next skin for the Huntress is Miss Kitty Koshika, which I've been wanting for so long since they brought out the dog mask through the howling grounds i've been saying i would love a cat variant of that and here it is this is able to be bought with auric cells or iridescent shards and this is so cute and because i love cats it's gonna take my iridescent shards or my money depending on which one i'm more inclined to uh, spend moving on to the last one is the clown now the clown will only be fully released at the time of the implementation of the store in June, which means he doesn't have that many cosmetics. So other than a few reskins of his default outfit, he has a very rare outfit called Children's Parties The Entertainer, and this will be able to be bought with Auric Cells. It is a really nice outfit, really menacing, really creepy. Uh, it's going to scare people a lot more than these default skin, I would have thought. So that summarises that. What killer cosmetics are you most looking forward to getting? What it, which ones are you going to buy first? Let me know in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like subscribe make sure to hit that little notification bell so you keep updated with more news for dead by daylight also feel free to follow me on twitter i post there regularly about more updates or just updates about streaming and all sorts like that so feel free to do that as well i've been Halky gamer and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye <laughs> Tell me like a hell cut.